Hello warriors, welcome to this episode of Stand for AS videos. I am sure many of you must be taking NACID group of medications to control the pain related to ankylosing spondylitis. NACID stands for non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. Many of you would be calling them anti-inflammatories. A few of them would also be knowing them as painkillers. NACIDs are important group of medications as far as ankylosing spondylitis is concerned. They are not just painkillers but have actual anti-inflammatory property and they reduce the inflammation in the sacroiliac joint associated with ankylosing spondylitis. Scientifically, they have been prescribed, they have been used for long term to reduce the inflammation associated with ankylosing spondylitis. However, none of the medication comes without any side effects. You should be aware of the precautions and the side effects associated with NSAIDs. This is what we are going to discuss in today's videos. The 10 precautions that you should know of, that you should take while taking NSAIDs for ankylosing spondylitis in the long run. First and foremost, the mo most common issue associated with anti-inflammatories or NSAIDs is gastritis. In plain simple language, many of you would be calling it as acidity. If you suffer from burning pain in the stomach, in the chest, this could be a sign of acidity related to NSAIDs. Do consult your rheumatologist if you are suffering from any of these. The second issue that comes with anti-inflammatories or NSAIDs are the renal issues. In the long run, they can potentially cause damage to the kidneys. What are the precautions that you can take so as to avoid this damage to the kidney? One, never take two NSAIDs at the same time. Second, you should know the maximum dose of NSAID that you are taking. Time and again, we come across warriors who are far exceeding the maximum dose of the NSAID they are taking to control their pain. This is not done. This is potentially dangerous for the kidney. Thirdly, drink plenty of water. Dehydration is something that increases risk of the NSAIDs to the kidney. Next, if you are having loose motions, if you are having fever, stop these NSAIDs during that phase because this is the time when the risk of damage because of NSAIDs to the kidney is maximum. And lastly, while on NSAIDs in the long run, one should be doing kidney test, BUN, creatinine on a regular basis. If you are under the supervision of a rheumatologist, I am sure he would be doing this test on a regular basis to ensure that you don't end up with any of the renal issues associated with NSAIDs. NSAIDs have been known to cause cardiac events, myocardial infarction or heart attacks. Though this is not very common and is associated particularly with the COX-2 type of NSAIDs, something that we have seen in the previous videos. So, how can you protect yourself from this potential problem? One, if you are suffering from diabetes, blood pressure, lipid, lipid issues, do not take NSAIDs on your own. It should be always under the supervision of a rheumatologist. Secondly, if you do, if you are not suffering from any of these, if you are a fit and fine young person, you should still keep a watch on your blood pressure. Many studies have shown that in the long run, when NACIDs are used on a chronic basis, there is a chance that one's blood pressure can increase. So whenever you are taking NSAIDs in the long run, do keep a check on your blood pressure. Lastly. Ankylosing spondylitis is associated with the gut. It is associated with inflammation in the gut and loose motions in many warriors. NSAIDs tend to trigger these loose motions and cause bowel disturbance. So if you suffer from loose motions or bowel disturbances after starting with NSAIDs, alert your rheumatologist immediately and do not take NSAIDs without supervision. All in all, if we have to summarize, NSAIDs are an important medication for ankylosing spondylitis. However, if you are not taking sufficient precautions, they are potentially harmful as well. 
Preferably, do not take NACIDs without the supervision of a rheumatologist. Thank you very much for joining me this week. Let us meet next week.